I talk a lot about teaching questions and testing questions. And what I challenge you to do is just to go back to your classroom and be an impartial observer and see if what's happening is truly teaching or if we have a series of testing without the teaching first. So let me give an example. We read a book and then we ask a bunch of who, what, when, where, why questions. That's testing, that's not teaching, because I did not teach you a strategy so that tomorrow you have a chance of doing better on those who, what, when, where, why questions than you did today. Instead, I need to teach you the strategy for who. That's before we read that story. We're gonna predict what characters might be in this book. We're gonna come up with a list of characters. Then we're going to listen, and then you're gonna tell me what characters were in it. We have to be asking open-ended, real questions. So, what's your name? If I come into the classroom and I've never met you, for me to ask you what's your name is very reasonable. Uh, what's your name? And I'm gonna ask it in a real voice. If I'm the teacher and I'm trying to make sure you know your name, I say, what's your name? I ask it in that testing voice. And it's completely inappropriate because the student is sitting there thinking, seriously? Because if you don't know my name by now, perhaps you need another job, lady. You never ask a question to which you know the answer because it's pragmatically inappropriate. So as teachers, we have to become pragmatically appropriate.